Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. So last time was probably the most emotional episode or part of the game that I've been through really. We were basically spent the whole episode with Jin's carer or, or nanny or, or whatever you whatever the term would be in Japanese culture at least. Um, Yuriko. Who's who'd gotten quite old? She was having trouble with her memory, and it turned out she was really she she was on death's door really. Um, it was kind of we we kind of got to spend like our, our last day with her, where she got to reminisce uh, over her over her life, over seeing her loved ones, and how the Sakai clan, the Sakai family, where had become her family and how she cared for the Jin. She cared for Jin's father, for Lady Sakai. Um, and she started mistaking Jin for, for his father, whose name name I've just forgot. He has quite a long name. Um, but yeah. And she 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 just ended up passing at the end of the episode it, it really got to me it's getting to me now but um yeah she 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 got to die you know at peace i suppose she got to see Jin after thing believing he was dead for so long so yeah um the plan for this episode i'm not exactly sure we're we're miles away from where we were uh because there's Omi Village. Um, I don't know if we should... Because there was a guy there. Uh, I feel like we need to go back and tell him. About... About Yuriko. Um, we're at this shrine here. So we should probably... We might as well just go and complete this. We need to go and level up this armor. Because it looks kind of a bit piecemeal at the minute, right? But yeah, damn, um, it, it just, Yuriko, you know, the, the, like the, the memory loss stuff reminded me of some stuff with my own family. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, the, like the characters in this game, like, although it's all very serious and quite somber, they, uh, the characters reflect on things in such a satisfying and... I don't know, they, that, it's just, it's, it just hits home, the way they reflect on the mistakes that they've made, and, you know, things that have happened to them and gone wrong, and, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's just the kind of thing I really like, I really like that kind of sentiment. In, in all kinds of storytelling, you know, characters that are really cognizant of, of what they're going through. So, yeah. Rest in peace, Yuriko. You will be missed. And it was a character we only spent, what, an hour and a half with? Yeah. So now, um, like I said, we need to upgrade this armor. Uh, the enemies are getting a little tanky. Um, so I think we need to upgrade our swords if we have enough money left over. Uh-oh. I'm unsure if this is where we were supposed to go. that that was a ledge. It's not a ledge. <clears throat> oh, 
don't know if this is anything close to the right way. So lost. <laughs> uh, I just gotta stop thinking about Yuriko. You know, it was a bit frustrating that they had to throw in a few Mongol encounters and stuff in the story. Uh, you know, I feel like they should have had a bit more confidence in their ability to write. You know, because they had written a really like nice, nice yeah. little story there with Yuriko. They didn't need to break it up with gameplay as much. I feel like it, they they need they should have had a bit more confidence in in the writing there, because that was a, a really nice, nicely told story. Oh my god! I thought I was done then. But other than that, yeah, a really lovely story. Yeah. We don't need this rain. Get out of here, rain. Rain, rain, go away. this view guys holy smokes thinking of you Yuriko thinking of you so we're gonna get a greater charm for this I believe Charm of Hori no Mikoto. Charm of the Kami of the Hunt. Remain hidden when assassinating enemies from grass. That would be useful if we were going for a stealth build. Yuriko's keepsake. What a view. can apparently get up there. Don't know why. No, no, no. <laughs> I see R2 and I just press it. We are on top of the world, guys. Hey there, bird. Oh, man. Well, at least we can fast travel back here. I will definitely be coming back for some uh, photo mode opportunities, right? There's usually an option to fast travel back, right? Oh, it still hurt. Jeez. Let's head back down. Okay, where should we go? Now, I think we need to go and upgrade this armor. 
The best place for that, I think, is Akash Akashima Village. It's just every upgrade available it, that's possible is available there. Uh, let's go and do that. The only reason we fast travel generally is for gear upgrades. So, the gift altar should be our first port of call. We've got, jeez, three and a half thousand. We've only got 14 flowers, though, if we want, if we can Lord get. Sakai. Thank you, again. For what? Shino. Oh. You made it here safely. <laughs> there were no demons on the road. Kappa or otherwise. My aunt's teaching me to treat the wounded. Your father would be proud. It was uh, she was on that in that house where her father had got killed by those bandits who she was treating as kappa, which is demons, right? The gift altar is behind the bell, the demon's bell, as I will refer to it, because that's looks like the demon's bell from Sekiro. Sekiro. Can't always roll my R's. Another hundred supplies. Every little helps. Right, we need to go to the armorer, which I believe is this one, isn't it? How is your armor fitting, my lord? Not great. Do I have the protection you need? Here we go. I'd like to see what each upgrade gets us. Okay, so this one doesn't have the demons. Well, not the demons, but the 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 the, the, the cover, the, the like the demon like mask. Major increase to melee damage. Wow, this armor's gonna be so OP. This will protect you. Then the next level we get the horns. We could put the mask on as well, couldn't we? And we get all the accoutrement. Much better protection. Massive increase to health. Oh. What does that change? I don't know what that changes. But we're doing it anyway. Certain to frustrate your enemies. Thank you. We are a tank. I think it would look better with the uh, the full Sakai mask, right? I mean, absolute state. Jin can't even see. Venomous. Uh, what's and I guess we should really have the clan swords with this, right? What else would go though? Those would look pretty nice. Don't want red. Hello there. Please don't be intimidated. <laughs> I was trying to fix my wagon with pieces from a bamboo stand when I was told a samurai had built it. Is that true, my lord? We use the bamboo to hone our skill with the sword. It takes focused blade to cut through all of the bamboo in one stroke. Please forgive my ignorance. I put everything back where it belonged, even the flag beside it. I appreciate that. But it would have been all right to repair your wagon. I'll make sure the stand sees use. We are fit. We look... Honestly, this looks comically big. I have to be honest. In that cutscene, we look just so thick. Like such a thick boy. Uh, let's see what dyes are available. Because there were, definitely were dyes available for this. Where's the normal merchant? There's the swordsmith. Let's go in. I think we can upgrade our swords, so. I can help improve your blades, my lord. 
Thank you, friend. We've got enough steel now. It's a lot of iron. Only one more upgrade left after that. Balanced, sharp, and oh, deadly. Out of iron. Okay. May your steel bring good fortune. We could go see the bowyer as well, but I would like the normal merchant. First, that's it. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this armor. It's so big. I think it's something that we'd use, you know, for like a big battle, not for walking Truth around in the world. In these times, my lord. We've got three options. We've got red, white and red, which looks, I don't know, and gold. Which I kind of like, except it's got white background on it. Kazumasa, that's it. Kazumasa. I've, I've uh, tried to remember it multiple times, I just can't get it into my head. The white looks wrong. The red looks looks fine. It just looks so thick, doesn't it? Kind of like the gold. Goes with that with the sword as well. If you can bring more, it's yours. Yeah, that would go with the black one, right? Or is it more purple? That would go. Goodbye. Okay, so that means pretty much all gold. Okay, I like the gold version of the of the Sakai mask. I kind of prefer the, uh, <laughs> that helmet, but... You are gold! Which was the really nice golden one? Oh! <laughs> Serious business right there. That's, yeah, I like that. Not necessarily like the white on the interior of the armor, but go with Kami's protection. When we're roaming the world, I'm probably going to change this. Hello there. The camp of survivors, the one outside Umugi Cove, it's cursed. People go missing. The people there are vulnerable, without a place to call home. Easy prey for criminals. Many of their survivors have lost their families, loved ones. There's something strange going on. I'll put a stop to it. Oh, you think he's hmm. real? Of course he's real. Another rumored location. So we've got quite a few things down by Umugi Cove that we need to go real check man. out. Not a dead <laughs> impossible. He murders men in their dreams. Wears we look so thick. Okay, let's go see the bowyer and the trapper. Are you following me? Man, I get so lost in bits like this in games, in little villages. There's the trapper. Come, see what I can make for you, my lord. Forty-six. Some more darts would be helpful. But everything costs ten, right? Oh, that is. Just to increase it by four, that's so stupid. We need to increase the dark capacity anyway, so. I hope it helps. Only the best for you. A 
an excellent choice. I'm sorry. All right. I need more for that. Only the best for you. Bingo. I look forward. Okay. And I think we can afford an upgrade for the bow. Yep. I'll try out the armor for a bit. I just I don't think it look, it's going to look great in cutscenes. I could be wrong. A great bow is a work of art, my lord. Okay, half bow upgrade. Four fifty. Six hundred. We could afford both. We got enough bamboo. I think so. Tadayori Nagao would envy this bow. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Your arrows will strike like deadly falcons. I'm pretty maxed out. All right, guys, that is everything. So, need to decide what I'm doing next. So, I think we'll head back to our estate because I'd like to talk to the the fella there. Uh, I've forgotten his name, but yeah. Fast travel over here, and then we'll make our way down here. We'll do this farmstead to progress the armor quest. We can do the next part of Masako and Ishikawa's stories, and maybe finish off with the Jewel of Crashing Waves. Let's head back to Omi Village. Super quick load times. Amazing. I hope we can talk to him because, you know, Yuriko would have just disappeared. I forgot, I, I don't remember his name. We only talk, talked to him briefly. Where are you, buddy? It's just like, I need, we need to tell him. You know, Yuriko is gone. Where are you, mate? I don't think he's here. Usually see friendly outlines. Ah, oh, god damn it! All right, we need to head over in. Oh, we could do this first. Nah. Let's uh, let's head straight down here. We'll do the farmstead and then we'll go to Masako. I'm going to be a bit heavier now, Nobu. Brace yourself. Don't mind me, Mr. Bear. I think we're just going to be an absolute wrecking ball wearing this armor. Absolute wrecking ball. Need to be on the lookout for all sorts of different flowers now, right? To uh, make our poison darts and such. I'm unsure what all of them look like. Um... Definitely is a serene forest. This side of the Toyotama region is much prettier than the marshlands, which are pretty hideous. Hmm. 
Those look like straw hats. We gotta test out the armor, guys. Face me! You have no idea what you've done to yourself. Oh, damn it. I'm dead. No! Such an anti climax. <laughs> and they're gone. That's the worst part about dying in this game. There's merchants here. God damn it, straw hats. I will have my revenge in this life or the next. I'm going completely the wrong way. I bit on the faint, and I don't usually bite on those little pump fakes that they do. I just should have blocked and used. I was trying to use a kunai to get some space, but I had practically no health left. Oh, look at this field, man. Awesome. Wow. That's one of them. Oh, we're full? Okay, good. Good hey stuff. These graves. Banner. Don't just want to steal banners off a grave. Fair enough. Where are you trying to take me, bird? Stop trying to distract me from the task at hand. Nearly there. In our thick boy armor. Let's go take care of business. We're riding straight in. I have no respect for anyone here. Oh god, he didn't I didn't get a standoff. Get out of it. the demon of Clan Sakai. Hold still. I will never forget this moment. Go, and stay safe. <laughs> Do my bidding for me.
You hang out there, Nobu. Right here, buddy boy. Bit sloppy there. Didn't realise there were two of them in there. You're going to be all right. Thank you. Be careful up there. Oh, kill enemies who are on fire. I can do that. Uh oh, I hear a dog. Okay, let's get an angle so we can get off plenty of fire arrows. We've only got three enemies. We need to do all three of them. Be alone, dog. Let the dog go. There are dogs somewhere. Uh, where was the last person again? I thought they were over here somewhere. A little help here, game. That'd be nice. <laughs> I don't know where they are. I think if I get far enough away, it'll reappear. Where were they? Did the dog eat them? Mm. 
music's kind of playing like there's still enemies nearby. Where the hell are they? Oh! Ghost. You'll be free soon. We thought our farm was lost, Lord Sakai. Did the Mongols take your key to Kosaka's armor? No. You may have it. Thank you. <laughs> More Mongols come. They'll get nothing from us. All right. Liberated. I think I need two technique points. Unbreakable Gosaku. Here we've got a technique point. I think, was I saving up? For, oh no, I already got it. Chain assassinations. Uh, that'll be okay. I'm not too bothered though. Yeah, that'll be pretty useful. That'll be pretty good as well if we really get in a really get in a jam, which has happened a few times, obviously. <laughs> God, how many question marks just appeared? <laughs> save me, someone save me from the question mark. Cannot help you. I need information, not apologies. Perhaps the farmers know. Perhaps. Intimidating people again, Lady Massacre. What have you done? Oh, it's Junshin again. What are you doing here, Junshin? Lord Sakai. I am worried about her. Junshin, what was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry I couldn't help. Like you helped with Kajiwara the fisherman? Did you ever find him? Yes, after he killed his wife and daughter. How could I be so foolish? My friend can be harsh, but she speaks the truth. This time, I truly do not know who she's after. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. The thief. Or the thief, as Remy LeBeau would say. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the base colour set. I don't like the white underlay. It's not white on this, is it? It kind of is. 
Because uh, Umasa is dark. It's just much more white on that. Yeah, let's ride with it, roll with it, all black for a little bit. Fully intimidate. Left toward the bridge, escorted by armed men. Thank you. That will be all. How'd you like my new gear, Massacre? Did the farmers know who you're looking for? Someone on the list. A thief. I'll help you find them. I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. They could complicate things. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. <laughs> you can count on it. The farmer said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. We are so thick. <laughs> this armor is massive. We would be sweating buckets and bullets right now. Buckets of bullets. Who is this thief? She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. Seems to make a lot of enemies, though, Masako, right? There she is. With the mercenaries. Let's move in. Quietly. Uh, how we can hide from anyone in this armor. I'm going to sell everything. I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. <laughs> you have no money. I have this comb. It's gold with pearl inlay. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No, we'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen where they might hurt her. Hmm. Follow Mai to the stolen heirlooms. Defeat the Ronin without being seen. How are we going to take out multiple of them? Are they going to... Oh, there goes the sun. How am I gonna look? He's distracted. Oh. I'll take him. How convenient. A chain assassination. Into 
into a demon. <laughs> Sakai, My step wife back. Knows that much, bro. We all knew. The girl flew as a demon to the monk's monastery. But the monk saw her coming and hid under a bell. She was clever, though, and cast fire around the bell, melting it. Obviously, recognize Lady Masako. Jin, I need to speak with Mai. I'm here if you need me. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turn me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. And you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. No way. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's things. Wow, that is a major twist. Wow. I was not expecting that. Huh. <laughs> that's I guess that's where it's all started. Well no, it's not where it's all started, I suppose, but it's just another piece of the puzzle. But we know the man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. I never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. He knew about us, my lady. How? Hmm. I don't know. He said he knew what it was like to love you. That he understood my pain. Masako. My was my only... Has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Hmm. Spoke as if they were his. His it... heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Did Lord Adachi somehow survive? Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin, will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. Wow. You were going to sell those mercenaries to your clone to keep your heirloom safe. When I found out you were alive, I wanted to give them back. I just didn't know how. Keep the clone with you. Please. For me. I promise. My lady. Wow. Adachi family flute, an old bamboo flute laid, used by Lady Masako to celebrate the changing seasons with her grandchildren.
Thank you. Where's Mai? She's gone home. Jean, I want you to know, I'm not... You don't owe me an explanation. I cared for my husband. But I cared for Mai, too. You still do? I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and Mai, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. Hmm. You'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. When that time comes, we'll make him pay. Didn't she say she had a previous marriage? I'm sure she said we asked her but early in the game when we were first looking for the family's killers that she had a, a previous marriage or something. Right? Charm of bludgeoning. I'm sure she said that. Huh. Huh. We're so thick. <laughs> I just think it's enhanced because the forearms are skinny. Look, I mean, you see what I mean? And then the thighs are thick and then the shins are skinny. I don't think we need any dart stuff. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Look at these question marks. Huh. I think we just go and do this, guys. I think we got time. It's not the final one in this quest, though. There is uh, an absurd number of points of interest, though. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think what we'll do, we'll just we'll just go and head to a few points of interest, I think, and then we'll start with Lady Masako's tale. In the next, uh, at the beginning of the next episode, because uh, you know we're getting towards the end of this story now, so it might end up being quite long. But we'll just do a little bit more exploring, pick up some more stuff. You know, the world's so pretty and so fun to the combat, so fun that I, I really have no problem going around. Uh oh. Speak, monk. Please stop. Where is Junjin? Okay, I inadvertently started this. Masako, what are you doing? Helping this monk find his tongue. My lord, help! Masako, let me handle this. Fine. But if you can't make him talk, I will. Oh dear. Oh dear, Mr. Monk. You have crossed the wrong woman. Alright guys, I'm actually just going to leave that one there. Uh, this is a good place to pick it up from. We'll get right into Lady Masako's next, uh, the next part of her story. Maybe do a bit of Sensei Ishikawa's next time as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. I know we were jumping around a little bit. Um, I was just so... I've just been... I was just so upset by Yuriko. Really got to me, man. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we, we understand a bit more about Lady Masako's story, about how she fell in love with one of her servants, right? And um, Mai. Um, you know, she still loved Lord Adachi, but, you know, not in the... Uh, or had come to love Mai in the way that she perhaps once lo loved Lord Adachi. That was the ultimate reason when I, when Ad Lord Adachi found out. I don't know if she actually stole anything or if that was just the way he made it look to make her leave after he found out about their romance. But yeah, very interesting. So we'll pick it up here next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you in the next one.